Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well. In today's video, we are talking luxury items I wish I didn't buy. Not because I hate them, maybe because I've evolved out of them or my style is slightly shifted. So we're gonna run through a few items. If you're new to this channel, my name is Devin. I make videos on fashion, vlogs, and unboxings and everything in between. So please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So up first on my list, I have my Louis Vuitton monogram backpack. I actually love this backpack when I got it. I got a really big job and I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to treat myself to that backpack. So I literally saved, put money aside and got the backpack. I do love it. The thing is, this is not really my style as much anyway, mainly because I hardly ever wear backpacks. Like I'm not a massive fan of them anyway, so I don't know why I thought it'd be a good idea to get a backpack. And the thing is, obviously it's got the top handle and it has the straps on the back. I only ever use it carrying the handle on top. So therefore it just defeats the object of even having a backpack. So I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I always carry my bag handheld. You know, I'm a handheld kind of girl. But I do love the backpack. It just doesn't get that much use anymore. I think I'll probably use this maybe twice a year maximum. It's a little bit gauche. For me personally now, I'm trying to be a little bit more minimalist, a little bit more low key. Like I would prefer it if the bag was Louis Vuitton, but maybe if it just wasn't as patterned or had this logo all over it, maybe if it was just like the plain all black, I would have used it more. But as of now as it is, it doesn't get that much use. Up next on my list is another bag, and you might think I wouldn't have put this on my list, but it is my Giacomo's La Bambino in brown or tan, they say. I love this bag, but like, this is actually one of my favorite bags that I own. I just don't use it that much, and I think it's because it's this light brown color, it's hard to put with other stuff and also I feel like it's more of a summer kind of bag. When I went to LA recently in January, I have surprisingly used it a lot. But I think it's because it was like warm there, it went with more of my looks. So I feel like this is more of a vacation bag. It's definitely a bag you'll pull out when it's like sunny, autumn, winter kind of flex. Whereas in the UK, it's rain, rain, rain every day. So it doesn't get that much use. And also if you spill anything on it, I went to a friend's birthday in Manchester and we're all sat on this like courtyard area and someone spilled a drink on my bag and let me tell you I've never wanted to murder someone so much in my entire life but I had to play it off cool like I was oh my god it's fine don't worry about it in my head I was thinking lord have mercy I want to kill him but I still love this bag it does get water damage pretty easy so you have to be careful with it but I still love this bag I just don't use it that much next on my list is a pair of Ray-Bans I know this is not high luxury but I'll put it in anyway because this pair of sunglasses was actually quite expensive I actually got these for a birthday a couple years ago and they're just these kind of circular circular gold ones love the sunglasses do I wear this shape anymore no so therefore they're not getting as much use as they would I kind of wear these I do wear these on holiday, but only certain kind of holidays. Like if I was going to Dubai, I would probably wear them. But then like other places where it's a little bit more, you know, low key and chic, like a Barcelona kind of vibe, I probably wouldn't wear them. So it just depends on location, but I don't get that much use out of these anymore. Maybe they will come fully back in fashion and I'll be back into wearing them nonstop. But as of now, they don't get that much use. So was it a good purchase? At the time, yes. Now, probably not. So up next on my list, I have a pair of Louboutins, my red bottoms. These are my one and only pair of red bottoms. I really wanted them at the time. And I was looking online and I was like, oh my God, I love those so much. I have to have them. So I went out and got these from, I think I picked them up in Selfridges or maybe Harrods. I'm not sure. At the time, I did love them because obviously like no one really has shoes like this. Like I've never even seen up to this day anyone with shoes similar to this. Do they look a bit like a shoe you might need to like support your ankle when you've broken it? Maybe so with all these shapes and patterns and stuff. But yeah, I don't actually hate them. I just don't ever wear them. The only time I actually wear these shoes is when I'm in Dubai. Don't know why. I feel like it's more the vibe there to wear these. But in the UK, no, Sam, I'm gonna wear them. So therefore, were they a good purchase? probably not i don't hate them i don't love them how much did these cost i think this cost about 550 so not crazy for the boot ons but still you know pricey for an item you don't really wear anymore so therefore i'll put them on this list so the last item on my list is my louis vuitton monogram diary i think this is the size small 
size small. I got this diary for a really good price. I think I paid like 130 for it, which is obviously so cheap for Louis Vuitton. Now it's worth about 400-ish pounds, so I could actually sell it and get more money. Do I use this? No. In my head, I never write down things like schedule, and then that means you might miss things or be late for things. So therefore I was like, I'm gonna get a diary and use it all the time. I don't use a diary all the time. Now I just use my iPhone for notes. Now I've got a calendar beside my bed, quite a big one. So I can just get up, look at it and see what my schedule is for each day, which I use so much more. I literally look at it every day. So this doesn't get much use at all. You buy your own papers for it, which is fine. They actually have Louis Vuitton paper that you buy for it, but I'm not paying extra money for that. So I just buy the ones from WH Smith, which works fine. Um, fits cards in that side. Do I love it? Yes, it's beautiful. That's why I haven't sold it, but I don't ever use it. So it's literally for decoration at this point, but hey ho. Guys, thanks for watching my luxury items I wish I never bought. I think I'm gonna do a part two of luxury items I'm glad I did buy. So keep tuned for that. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye guys.